What's the first thing you think of when you see trout? Hear horns and whistles in the distance? That would be the train. Someone once said, when you're on the train, it's not just the ride, but also building relationships. Let me tell you how to use the train, with what is available to us in Connecticut. Specifically, let's talk about Metro North Shoreline East and Amtrak. What is Metro North Shoreline East and Amtrak? Metro North is a commuter rail service that runs from Grand Central Terminal to New Haven Union Station. The New Haven line is a 72-mile ride and runs nearly 30 times a day. This line's history dates to 1872 during the days of the New York and New Haven and Hartford to New Haven lines. These you can consider Metro North's predecessor. Metro North is owned by the Metropolitan Transportation Authority, or MTA for short. There are other lines on Metro North, but we are just sticking with the New Haven line for this speech. Now let's talk about another commuter rail that is like Metro North. Now there is another commuter rail that runs along the Connecticut shoreline from New London to New Haven. That is Shoreline East. This service began in the 1990s to cut down the congestion on I-95 between New London and New Haven. Before being called Shoreline East, it was called the Clam Digger. Since May 2022, the whole route has been electrified. From New Haven, take Metro North to Grand Central and points west. Finally, Amtrak runs all over New England and here in Connecticut. We are on what is considered the Northeast Quarter. This runs from Boston to Washington, D.C. There's also a sub-series called the Amtrak Hartford Line and the Vermonter. Believe it or not, Shoreline East is owned by Amtrak since they shared the tracks between New Haven and Boston. The equipment used along the Northeast Quarter is the Northeast Regional. The train consists of 8 to 10 cars with a cafe car and business class. So let's look at where these trains go. Amtrak trains have interesting names depending on where they're going, such as the Northeast Regional and Vermonter. Just this past weekend, I went from New London to White River Junction, Vermont, using both Shoreline East and the Amtrak Vermonter. Where to go on Metro North and Shoreline East and Amtrak? You probably are thinking, where can I go on Metro North, Shoreline East and Amtrak? Good question. On Metro North, you can go to Grand Central Terminal and points west of New Haven. From 7.20 to 10.121, I took Metro North to West Haven. From here on, I will refer to Grand Central as GCT. From GCT, you can take Metro North's other lines. For example, ride up the Hudson Line to the Yankees get it, or visit beautiful Croton Harm in New York. Shoreline East has some great destinations to go as well. From New London, take the train to Old Saybrook, West Brooklyn, and Madison, Guilford, Brantford, and New Haven. Shoreline East could go all the way to Boston or Providence someday in the future. Amtrak, since the national brand, there's plenty of places to go. Trying to get to Fenway? Take the Northeast Regional from New London to Back Bay and then connect with the T to Lansdale or South Station and connect to the Green Line and get off in Kenmore. For people not really into baseball, get off in Back Bay or South Station and explore Quincy Market, Faneuil Hall, etc. Other places to go on Amtrak are in New York City, Washington, D.C., Philly, Baltimore, and so on. The final main point I want to talk about is station information and parking. Shoreline East parking is free at all stops except New Haven, excuse me, except New London. Amtrak stations are in Mystic, New London, Old Saybrook, New Haven, Bridgeport, Stanford, along the Connecticut shoreline. There are others in Meriden, Wallingford, Hartford, Windsor, Windsor Lots, and so on going up towards Springfield. Parking in New London and New Haven is paid by the hour, and there's a garage across the street from the station in New London, while the garage in New Haven is attached to the station. Now let's talk about where you can get a ticket. For Metro North and Shoreline East, you can use the CT Rail app, but only for the New Haven line. So you can go to the counter at the station, excuse me, but only for the New Haven line. Or you can go to the counter at the station, only in New, New London, Old Saybrook, and New Haven. I would say get to your station about 30 to 35, excuse me, bleh, 30 to 45 minutes before departure. For example, on Sunday, for a 10.25 a.m. departure from New London to New Haven on SLE, I left the house at 9.30 a.m. and got to New London at roughly 10.05 a.m. Now you have all the information you need. Try one of these out. I promise you will thank yourself and thank yourself you did it because driving in cities can be a nightmare.
Just sit back and relax and take in the scenery. If you feel like you need to work, take out the laptop, the headphones on, and do your homework or other work. In fact, I wrote this both going to Vermont and coming home on the train. And there you go.